All right, let's look at volume and angles. Week 27's homework. The solid below is made from cubes. Find its volume. Okay, so let's look at how many cubes are on the front side. There's two, four, six, eight, ten. And I knew that because two times five. And you can see that we have two rows of ten. So two times five times two. That's length times, well, times the height times the width. Doesn't matter the order. Length times width times height. Any of those numbers, any order. We're taking the three dimensions because it's a three-dimensional object. So that's what we're mainly doing this week. We are finding the volume. How much is inside? Last week we did the surface area. Find the volume of this. Okay, so two times three times eight. Two times three, six. Six times eight is 48. And that's meters times meters times meters. So meters cubed. Meters to the power of three because we're doing three dimensional blocks here. So those are cubes. All right, I know you could probably do that one in your head. I do want to see you write that down on your homework paper though. Question three, the large solid below is made from small cubes. Each cube has a side length of one third meter. Answer the questions below, write your answer in simplest How many small cubes is a large cube made of? Okay, so that's kind of what we've just looked at. How many small cubes is this large cube made of? Well, one, two, three, three by three is nine. And then we're two wide, so nine times two, the answer is 18 cubes. What's the volume of one of the small cubes? Okay, so one small cube, we're just looking at one of these cubes, it's one third, by one third by one third. So I gotta do one third times one third times one third. Length times width times height. So that's one over 27. It's not one third. It's one twenty-seventh of a cubic meter. What's the volume of the large solid? Okay, so my large solid here, the whole big thing is 18 cubes. Each of those cubes is one twenty-seventh of a cubic meter. So what do I have to do? 18 cubes times 127. Okay, I'm going to put that as a fraction. I'm going to simplify first to make it easier. 9 goes into both 18 and 27. So 18 divided by 9 is 2. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So my answer is 2 times 1, 2. 1 times 3, 3. My answer is 2 thirds of a cubic meter. Okay, so we're going to multiply those two. If you watch this video, that one should not be a problem. We did. We are going to review that in class often, and that one shouldn't be too hard. hard. Okay, find the volume of this rectangular prism. Write your answer in simplest form. So now we're, we have my three dimensions. We can multiply them in any order. Four fifths times a half is four tenths, and that times seven ninths. Now I could have simplified first, made that a little easier, simplified back here. I'm just going to simplify at the end now. I know they're both even, so we can divide them both by 2. So that's 14 over 45. Uh, let's see. I can't think of any numbers that go into both of these. They don't have a common factor. There's your answer. 14 45ths, meter times meter times meter, is cubic meter, meters to the power of 3. Next question, we got some word problems. These do let you use a calculator. A company makes wax candles shaped like rectangular prisms. Each candle is five by four by 15. Okay, so first let's figure out the volume of each candle. Five times four times 15. Okay, five times four is 20. 20 times 15 is 300. So we have 300 cubic meters. Write that down even if I'm using a calculator. Okay, so each candle is 300 cubic meters. We have 5,100 centimeter cubic centimeters of wax. So we got this big old ball of wax. It has 5,100 cubic centimeters. Each candle is 300 of those. So 
So what I'm doing is I'm seeing how many 300s, how many candles I can make out of 5,100. So we're doing 5,100 divided by 300. Okay. So I can use my calculator for that. I can also see I'm going to divide them both by 100. 51 divided by 3 is 17. So I should be able to make 17 candles. When I'm finished, I want to check to make sure that makes sense. Would it make sense to make 17 candles? Yeah. Yeah, out of that. If you would have multiplied by accident, and done that times that, you're going to get an answer like um, 1.5 million. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Make sure we have answers that are reasonable. Always, always, always. All right, next question. The empty gas tank of a motorboat is to be filled. The tank is shaped like a rectangular prism with a length of 22 centimeters, a width of 20 centimeters, a height of 16 centimeters. Okay, so let's find the volume of that first because we know it's length times width times height. We can multiply those in any order. times 20 times 16 gives you 7,040 centimeters cubed. Okay, suppose a gas is pumped into the tank, so we got this big tank here, at a rate of 640 cubic centimeters per minute. So I'm putting 640 centimeters cubed each minute. Okay, so after one minute, we got that much in. After two minutes, double that. Three minutes, double. Keep adding. Okay, so we're seeing how many of these fit into this. That's my problem, how long it takes to fill that tank. So I'm seeing 7,040 divided by 640. Okay, so my division problem gives me 11. So it takes 11 minutes to fill it up, which makes sense, right? If you would have multiplied, you would have gotten a big old answer that would not have made sense. Make sure 4 million or something. Make sure your answers are always reasonable. Okay. Next question. The figure below, it shows a hollow box for a rectangular prism. Note that the box does have a lid. That's important. Okay, we're going to find the volume and the surface area both. Okay, so let's do volume first since that's what we've been doing. Length times width times height. It doesn't matter which number we use as which. 2 times 15 times 13. 2 times 15 is 30. 30 times 13 is 390. Now, labels are very important. We're multiplying feet times feet times feet. So that's feet to the power of three. Feet cubed. We're talking about the inside. Okay, surface area. Remember how we did this last week. We're going to find the front. We're going to find the top. We're going to find the side. We're going to find everything we see. Here's my front, which is 15 times two. Here's my top, which is 15 times 13. Here's my side, which is 2 times 13. Notice I used each of these numbers twice. Okay, 15 times 2 is 30. 15 times 2 times 13 is 26. 15 times 13 is 195. Okay, so let's add up what we see. This plus this plus this. 195 plus 30 plus 26 is 224. Now this is what we see, it's feet times feet, so it's feet squared, these are all feet squared. Okay. Oh, but that's just what we see. That's not the whole box. There's three on the opposite side that we don't see. We don't see those, so 224 plus 224, or 224 times two, 448 feet squared. Be careful with the labels. Okay, the box is to be filled with sand. Which measure would be used to find the amount of sand the box will hold? Okay, so it's, we're putting sand on the inside. We're filling it all up. 
so that's definitely volume. The box needs to be painted. We're not just dumping paint into the inside. We're painting around the outside, so that's going to be surface area. All right, so that's distinguishing between surface area and volume. Careful with your labels. Okay, let's move on to angles now. Find the value of x. Okay, so let's back up and think about all quadrilaterals. Well, let's think about a rectangle first. We know a rectangle has four right angles. Um, so four right angles, four times 90 is 360. All quadrilaterals will be 360 degrees, the interior four angles will add up to 360. So then for a triangle, we know a triangle is just half of that. Okay, so half of that, so this one's still 90. This one's half of 90, which is 45. This is half of 90, which is 45. If we add those up, it's gonna be half of 360, so 180. So triangles, we know the interior angles add up to 180. Rectangles, 360. Not just rectangles, but any quadrilateral is 360. Okay, so these have to add up to 180. So, so far, this plus this, 41 plus 35, is 76 degrees. Okay, so we got to figure out x. So 76 plus x is going to give us 180. So uh, we have 180 total. Let's subtract 76 from them. We've got a bar over here. The answer is 104 degrees, which makes sense. That looks a little more than 90 degrees. Okay, so all triangles are going to add up to 180 degrees with their interior angles, the angles on the inside. So for this one then, let's see which of these are triangles. That plus that plus that, that's not even close to 180, that's way less. So that cannot be angle measures of a triangle. That plus that plus that, that looks about 180. Let's add them up and see. 85 plus 55 is 140, plus another 40. Yeah, that's 180. That's a triangle. 53, we can add these in any order. I like that this ends in a 7 and a 3. It makes it a little easy. So 53 plus 27 is 90 degrees, plus another 57. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not 180. It's only 147. Nope, doesn't work. 38 plus 10 plus 132. Well, 132 plus 10, that's easy. 142 plus another 38 is 180 degrees. So that one works, yes. All right. Last problem, find the value of x. We gotta figure out what kind of shape it is first. It has four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. So quadrilaterals, they all add up to 360. So I could do 360 minus this, minus this, minus this. I'm gonna add them first and subtract that from 360. So 111 plus 49 for that angle. 160 degrees plus another 95 gives you 255 degrees. So far we have 255 degrees. It's 360 total. So let's borrow 105 degrees, which makes sense. All right, that's your homework this week. Mainly volume, some angles in there too. Good luck. Do your best.